What's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this one we're going to be wrapping up the solid design principles in Python. So we'll be focusing on the dependency inversion principle. And uh, this is where it has basically two uh, definitions um, or two parts to its definition. The first one being high level modules should not depend on low level modules. Both should depend on abstractions and uh, abstractions should not depend on details, details or concrete implementations should depend on abstractions. And a more dumbed down version of this definition is high level classes shouldn't have to change just because low level classes change as well. Um, so one thing to point out is uh, also if you're following both the open close principle and the Liskov substitution principle, then you're implicitly following the dependency inversion principle. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't checked out those two videos um, on um, open close principle and the Liskov substitution principle, then I definitely rec recommend you guys do that. Um, if not, then um, then yeah, this I hope this explanation of the of dip or dependency inversion principle for short um, is uh, or is of value to you. And um, hopefully by the end of it, if you don't understand it already, then you will. Uh, we'll do like a very simple uh, example of this, just like in the last few videos. Um, yeah. Also, one thing to point out as well is that um, because we're doing this in Python, it's a bit different if we were to implement this in Java or C++. So uh, just keep that in mind um, as a lot of things in Python, such as interfaces or um, inheritance or abstract classes aren't strictly enforced with Python, whereas in Java they are. Um, so we, it's, it's more of a kind of convention to have these or to use these principles uh, in Python as it just leads to better code. You'll impress your uh, teammates if you're working in a team. Uh, and it helps as well if you have like a rather large project or ra rather large code base, then uh, knowing or applying these principles just makes it easier down the road. Um, so yeah, um, we'll jump to the example now. The example we're going to be using is that of movies. And uh, so we're gonna be creating like a very, very basic version of Netflix uh, where a user can um, filter for or find movies based on like a particular genre, whether it be horror, animation, uh, drama, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're gonna start off first by uh, breaking the dependency inversion principle and then going about fixing it. Also, like all this code that I'll write, um, it will be in the GitHub repo. I'll put the link in the description below. So yeah, go check that out if um, yeah if you would much rather look at that rather than uh, follow along with this video. Um, yeah, so we'll just get started. Um, the first thing that we want is we want to import um, enum, so like that, and we'll just create a very basic genre enum, which will um, inherit from enum. I can't type today. I say I can't type like almost in every video. Um, I, I literally can't type, it's not because I'm having a bad day. Um, so yeah, we'll do horror, which will just be like horror. We'll do drama and we'll do animation because who doesn't love animation movies? Um, yeah, so we'll now create like a very basic movie uh, class and that will just take in a name. So, oops. Our title for the film. And we'll just set the title to the title that we pass in. Okay, yeah. So, a very complex class. Um, yeah, so this, will, this is our movie, and we'll now create our low. Um, low level class or low level module and that will just be a catalog so we can say movie catalog and this will just be just, when we create this uh, it will just initialize a list of movies and we'll, yep set that to an empty list and we can add movies and that will take in just a movie and 
picture of type of movie and genre. Um, yeah, like I, I, I know I use types quite a lot in um, my examples. In this case, it's somewhat important um, as, um, yeah, you'll see why later on, but like um, specifying what kind of type we're passing in or type in Python um, is like just helps to kind of make this example quite clear. So we can now do movies.append and we'll create a tuple or tuple, however you like to pronounce it. And that will take in a movie and a genre, like so. So now that's done, we can create um, the Netflix class. So actually, before we continue, let's add a doc string stating that this is our low level class or low level module. Um, and now we can do Netflix, which is. Our high height, high level um, class, and we can. It will just be the uh, initializer that we'll have here. So we'll take in a movie catalog and also a genre. So the genre that the user is looking for, whether it be horror or whatever, and we can just loop through. Actually, first we'll get the uh, movies actually we'll just that shouldn't be add movies that should be add movie adding a single movie and so we can do uh, movies equals movie catalog dot movies and so for movie in movies if movie um, say the genre if the genre of that movie matches the genre that the user is looking for then we can just print uh, movie title is a genre movie like so. And now let's just try this out. So put it in within this if statement. If the, yeah, so first of all, um, we create movies. Um, so let's do The Godfather, an all time classic. Uh, and that will be movie The Godfather. And we'll just add three other films. So we can do Pop Fiction, bit of an overrated film, but yep, don't crucify me for that. Um, pop fiction, uh, Toy Story, which is of course legendary. Let's say Toy Story, and finally, as a horror film, yeah, horror movie, we can add Sinister. The first one was the best, the rest, mm. um, yeah. So we've got our movies, and now we can create our movie catalog. So by just doing that, so movie catalog, initialize it, and let's add in our movies, add movie, and we can do the Godfather, which is a, let's say drama or crime, but in this case, drama, um, add in pop fiction, add in Toy Story, which is a animation film, and finally Sinister, being horror. Okay, cool. So now we have the uh, movie catalog and what we want is to now um, use Netflix to filter um, them. Sorry, if I keep moving the laptop around, it's uh, I'm trying out OBS. So I'm going to make sure my head's at the center of the little ball. Um, yeah, so we can do Netflix and we pass in the movie catalog and finally um, the genre that we want. So let's say you're looking for drama movie. Um, now that should be it. So let's see if this works, which it should. Um, we can, the genre, I think if we do value, maybe that works. 
months. Yep, cool. Um, so let's just clear that up and then run that again. So yeah, that works fine. Um, so The Godfather is a drama movie, Pulp Fiction is a drama movie, and that's when we're looking for um, yeah, a drama film, which is perfectly fine in terms of like on the surface. However, if we were to um, now look at the code in more detail, um, we can see straight away that the dependency inversion principle has clearly been violated. And the reason for that is because our high level class being Netflix is making use of or is dependent and dependent being the key word here on um, our low level class, which is movie catalog. So uh, here, when we initialize Netflix, our high level class, where uh, within the parameter, we're asking for our low level module which uh, we don't want at all. And that's what it states here. So high level modules should not depend on low level modules and we're doing the complete opposite. Instead, what we want is um, we want both the high level module and the low level module to depend on abstractions. For example, interfaces uh, in Python being like informal interfaces and that's what we're going to do now. So, um, yeah, and the other thing is to keep uh, in mind this when we now implement our interface um, that abstractions should not depend on details, details, concrete implementations should depend on abstractions. So to fix this, um, we can create a abstract class or our like interface um, and we can call this catalog like so and all this has is we'll just import the abstract uh, method decorator so from abc import abstract method and we can now add that by saying abstract method and we can add the um find by genre And this just takes in the genre and we'll fill that in um, with the classes that now inherit from catalog um, so yeah the other thing to point out is this is also just bad code um, it, it shouldn't be the responsibility for Netflix to actually like go about and filter for it the catalog is, is more appropriate for the catalog to do that so um, what we can do is use movie catalog to inherit from catalog and we can override the uh, find by genre method by doing um, yeah, find by genre this again takes a genre just say that here as well um, yep um, cool yeah and so what we can do is basically the same that we've done here so we can move all that into the movie catalog. And yeah, the other thing to point out is um, if this were to change to a dictionary, then this could fail. Um, and we don't want that. Like our high level class shouldn't care at all like how the low level class gets the job done. The same way, like if we were, when we make phone calls, we don't care about how the phone call is made unless you have a deep interest in it. But uh, most of the time when you're calling someone, um, you don't care how that call is transmitted. You just care about being able to call this person so that that, that call goes through. Um, and that's the, 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 the worry of making that call work is done by something more low level. Um, so in this case, Netflix doesn't care about how the genre is found or how movies based on a genre are found. Um, that's up to the low level class. Um, so what we can do is for movie in the uh, in self dot movies we can say if movie is equal to if the genre of that movie is equal to the genre that we've passed in we can just print this here so let's just take that like that so yeah. That's what we've done and we can just yield instead of printing it, you can say that. So 
Now the movie catalog implements find by genre. So if we were to change that, if we were to change uh, the movies from a list to a dictionary, then um, all we'd have to do is fix that within this. And the Netflix class wouldn't have to worry about it as it doesn't care. Uh, although that, I don't think that would be a good idea as we'd also be kind of violating the open close principle. But um, yeah, that's more the point. You'd much rather change that in here than uh, in the Netflix class. So now, um, instead of passing in movie catalog, which is our um, low level class, we can pass in instead the uh, abstract abstraction. So we can instead of saying movie catalog, we can just say catalog, like so, like that. And we know that anything that um, inherits from or makes use of the catalog interface will have the find by genre. Um, so we can now do for movie in catalog find by genre uh, we can just pass in the genre that the user has asked for we can just print movie like so so now if we were to run this we get the exact same output however we've kind of um, yeah our codes are a lot more cleaner and in line with the dependency inversion principle because um, now the catalog or anything that has catalog um, or inherits from catalog has a find by genre, uh, which is great. Like Netflix now no longer cares how it's done. All it knows is that is we're giving Netflix a catalog and every catalog will have a find by genre uh, method and that will just call that. So we could also create a, um, let's say like a series catalog as Netflix doesn't just do films, it also does um, like TV shows. And we can just, um, yeah, like um, do find by genre and like we won't implement it all, but um, the point is, is that now, like if we were to do something similar, like we could create uh, some series or a series catalog and uh, we'd part, we can also pass in a, um, Instead of a movie catalog, we could create like a, a TV uh, or a, uh, the series catalog and just pass that in rather than the movie catalog. And we can filter that by genre. Um, yeah, so that's why um, like we're basically now, uh, what we've done is high level classes shouldn't have to change just because low level classes change. So again, with the series catalog, this doesn't have to change at all. Like we just need to pass in like, if we were looking for a series, just pass in the series catalog. Um, movies, movie catalog, either way it just has to be of type catalog in order for this to work fine. Um, also like this isn't really strictly enforced in Python, um, it's more of like a convention that you should use anyway, um, like it will just help in the long run and as stated before, like it will help when working with large teams or if you're working with like a large uh, code base, uh, then that helps. Um, but yeah, that's really the dependency inversion principle. Um, I hope this example has given you an idea of how this works, if you didn't have the idea already. Um, and yeah, it's a very simple example and doesn't really like, you know, we're not applying this like very large script, um, but it's more so just understanding how this works. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I also want to just uh, give actually the time of filming this uh, I'm on 15 subscribers so I just want to give a big shout out to all you guys who have hit that subscribe button it's early days and uh, yeah thank you very much and it's been quite motivational seeing that there and seeing that number slowly go up uh, and if you're looking for more content like this whether it be on Python JavaScript go or anything programming related uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and I am yeah most like look most <clears throat> I'm losing my words. Uh, most looking forward to um, yeah doing more videos and for you to see them and hopefully they also help in other areas regarding programming.